home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company, Reed BBS, BBS, Black Burt Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts, Edgar Belanga, EB, The Chosen One. Now, personally, I prefer Edgar the Banga Berlanga. Edgar the Banga Berlanga. Boxing's hottest young up and coming prospect on the strength of his 16 and 0, 16 KOs record, all in the first round. But with that said, all good things must come to an end. And such was the case for Berlanga's KO streak this past weekend. No first round KO. Hell, no KO at all, really. But I like it. I like it. In fact, Berlanga will be better for it in the long run, trust me, than just stacking up these KOs. No, he'll be better for this in the long run. He got, he wasn't tested, tested in that sense, but he learned new things about himself as a professional fighter, which is kind of what his trainer, Andre Rozier, Rozier was alluding to in between rounds. Years from now, I predict years from now, there'll be a boxing trivia question. Who was the first man to go the distance with Edgar Berlanga? And the answer is Demond Nicholson. Survey says Demond Nicholson. That's who. He's now 23 wins, four losses, one draw, 20 KOs. Look, man, I don't care what nobody say. If you've had, what's that, 28 boxing matches, won 23 and knocked out 20 dudes, that's not easy. That's not easy. I ain't sitting here telling you he was a Berlanga level puncher, but you know, that's a respectable record for a guy at Berlanga's level right now. Motherfucker earned it though. He earned it. I bet Nicholson still, as I speak, he's still laid up somewhere, icing down, taking pain meds and shit. He was pretty much all D in the first round, you know, and he tried to stand his ground in the second, but regretfully, a counter left hook. Near the temple, caught him, uh, caught him as he was ducking down, and then he went to the canvas. Left hook to the forehead, forced his glove to the canvas in the fifth. There was a knockdown in between then, but it wasn't legit. They ruled it one. It was four knockdowns officially, but it was really only three. Uh, there was a beautiful last round, beautiful catch and shoot right hand. It dropped Nicholson on his back. Like he had just fired a left hand. Berlanga picked it off with his arms and his gloves, his right arms and his gloves, and threw the same hand right back and dropped Nicholson on his ass. It was beautiful. It was so late in the round, though, but it was like a perfect punctuator to the way the fight hat went. Like, he showed his power throughout, even though he didn't stop the guy. And make no mistake, Nicholson would not have lasted 10. This was an eight-rounder, like I said previously. After that knockdown in the eighth, he wouldn't have lasted. My dude Nicholson, he was tough, he had pride, he was crafty, athletic, he was good at slipping and holding and shit, but he still got his ass whooped, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, he got his ass whooped. Berlanga, what I liked, he kept a high guard, he used his jab, and he kept like ever-present pressure on my man Nicholson, like there was no, no respites, no moments to breathe and shit, for the most part. I really like the Miguel Cotto type of bounce that uh, Berlanga has right before he engages. He's kind of got his guards high and he's kind of bouncing around on his toes. Kind of like reminded me of Miguel Cotto a bit. I like that touch. And he's now 17 and 0, 16 KOs. Number five per the WBA, number eight per the WBO, number 25 per the WBC at 68. Super middleweight, 168 pounds. This was coming into the uh, the fight with Nicholson. So he could be even higher now. There's talks of Jesse Hart next. Uh, you know, I have a, I only did club show matchmaking, but I did matchmaking. And to me, matchmaking is easier the higher the, the caliber of fighter is. Me personally, with that said, I might find a happy medium between Nicholson and Hart next. And then maybe approach a Jesse Hart type fight late 2021. Berlanga's the goods. I like what I see. I like what I see, but don't rush, man. Uh, his, 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 his hands are quicker than his feet. 
He's a bit wide, bit wide with his right hand. He kind of loops it a bit. He was breathing from the mouth in the fourth round, but make no mistake, the power sustained. Motherfucker can punch, period. He can punch, man. And he took some shots from a game opponent with no issues. Like Nicholson was swinging back, landing, has a pretty decent KO ratio, and Berlanga, yeah, he wasn't tripping at all. Edgar the Banger Belanga, he will have to be addressed at some point, period. Home of the three piece combo. Pugilism Company. Read BBS. BBS. Blackbird Sugar. Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Televisio. Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do. <laughs>